Peyton Manning, very unfamiliar faces surrounding him in San Diego, an unfamiliar stat line, and a second straight loss, but just barely. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the Subway NFL postgame show, breaking down the Sunday nighter. He didn't have Marvin Harrison, he didn't have Dallas Clark, he didn't have Anthony Gonzalez. He was also missing a few guys on the offensive line. That all to start the game. When it was said and done, just 15 able bodies left on offense. Yet, Peyton Manning, despite five interceptions in the first three quarters, still had Indian position to take the lead with less than two minutes remaining in San Diego. But Hall of Fame kicker Adam Vinatieri missed his second field goal of the game. This one from just 29 yards out. And the Chargers hung on to win 23-21 after getting out to a 23-0 lead in the first half. Offensively, though, for San Diego, not much because 14 of their points came on two Darren Sproles returns for touchdowns, including the opening kickoff of the game. Very tough night for Peyton Manning, including the Hail Mary to end the game. He ended up with six picks, three of those to Antonio Cromartie, who made his first start. Manning had never before thrown more than four in a game. He also set the franchise record now with these six interceptions. And with the loss, the Colts now just one game up on both the Jaguars and the Titans and tied with the Steelers for the second best record in the AFC. Meanwhile, for the second consecutive week, Phillip Rivers, an awful game. After completing just 19 of 42 against the Vikings last week, he hit on just 13 of 24 for 104 yards against the Colts this week and had two interceptions. Now, on the season, 10 touchdowns, 9 picks, but those 10 touchdowns all coming in four of the Chargers' nine games. But despite the poor play from the fourth-year pro out of NC State, the Chargers still have a 5-4 and four record and have sole possession of first place in the AFC West. That with the Chiefs' home loss to the Broncos on Sunday afternoon because both those squads are now 4-5 and five on the year. And for a recap of that game, be sure to check it out in the video player here on the website. For now, that's it for this edition of the Subway NFL Postgame Show. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.